Sir Keir Starmer has stated it is the British public's patriotic duty to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The Labour leader, who succeeded known Republican Jeremy Corbyn in 2020, penned a piece in the news which called on Brits to celebrate Her Majesty's 70th year on the throne. Before we continue, please if you are new here, just take a few seconds to hit the subscribe button to get amazing contents. Sir Kerr's remarks mark a clear shift away from his predecessor. When Mr Corbyn faced off in opposition to Boris Johnson in 2019, the Islington North MP misplaced dozens of former safe seats to the Tory party in the Brexit-backing Red Wall. It has even been suggested Labour's lukewarm stance on patriotism, which includes in regard to the royal family, could have helped the Red Wall crumble at the last general election. Sir Kerr wrote. The Jubilee weekend isn't simply an opportunity for us to reflect on the 70 years, because Her Majesty's accession to the throne though it will, of course, be that. And it isn't surely a chance for a country wearied by the extraordinary situations of the last few years, to let its hair down though it is, of course, your patriotic responsibility to do just that. No, the first platinum jubilee in our nation's records is a chance to celebrate a really extraordinary queen, to reflect on the distinction she has made to her country, and to consider what our Elizabethan age has supposed, and what it will mean for our future. He added, the Western world has changed past recognition since the 1950s. This has led to fundamental questions of what it means to be a citizen, and what it means to be patriotic. We have been no outlier in this. Her Majesty's steady presence a bridge between different eras has been a necessary phase in assisting us to battle with those questions. That Britain has at every juncture rejected extremism is in no small phase due to our idea of who we are as a people. A notion born of a sense of stability that can't exist without strong institutions. But Sir Kerr's intervention has no longer been welcomed by everyone in the Labour Party. Ex-Shadow Employment Minister Laura Pidcock took to Twitter to hit out at the Platinum Jubilee. Ms Pidcock, who lost her seat of North West Durham to Big 8 pusher Richard Holden via 1144 votes, said. I just feel like there is a real grossness to the state-driven Jubilee social gathering fanfare. People are skint, we are supposed to go out and celebrate 70 years of unadulterated unaccountable wealth, privilege, electricity and exploitation. Nah. However, St Pancras MP has not constantly been an avid fan of the royal family. The remain supporting former shadow Brexit secretary stated in 2005. I got made a Queen's Council, which is odd when you consider that I frequently used to endorse the abolition of the monarchy. During the Labour leadership election in 2020, Sir Kerr even published he would downsize the royal family. It would appear Sir Kerr's view on the firm altered over time as he accepted a knighthood as Director of Public Prosecutions and used to be later invested as a Knight Commander of the Order of the Bath in a ceremony at Buckingham Palace by Prince Charles. Mr. Starmer has since used his time in Southside to rebrand Labour, especially on patriotism and the Union Jack. A leaked interior document from last 12 months suggested Labour was mulling over plans to use of the Union flag, veterans and dressing smartly. However, the leaked file got here under fire from some backbench Labour MPs. Clive Lewis, who served as a soldier in Afghanistan, stated at the time, It's now not patriotism, it's fatherlandism. There's a better way to construct social cohesion than moving down the track of the nativist right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comment section and please subscribe.